Welcome back. You asked and I listened. For my last bioactive terrarium video, I asked you guys what reptile you would like to see me make a terrarium for next. And the majority asked for a bearded dragon enclosure. So today that's what we're doing. A bioactive terrarium for a bearded dragon with all of the materials provided by the bio dude. Now for those of you who are not familiar with a bioactive tank, a bioactive tank is its own ecosystem. It has live plants, it has tiny little insects and microorganisms that are cleaning up waste. And this is a system that is self-maintaining and it is self-sustaining. This is a terrarium that you don't have to clean. And most importantly, this is a terrarium that provides environmental enrichment for your reptile. And it is completely safe for both you and your reptile. And if you aren't familiar with these systems, then I definitely recommend that you check out my video about the pros and cons of bioactive terrariums. And this will help you get the real facts of using a bioactive terrarium for your reptile. And you'll be able to find that video by clicking on the I on that corner of the screen. Now this can sound very difficult and very complicated to make your own bioactive terrarium when you think about everything that goes into it, but it's actually very simple. It's really easy to do it yourself and watch this video till the end because I'm going to show you how to set up your own own bioactive terrarium super easy you'll be able to see that anybody can do this it's very common that people that are new to bioactive terrariums are surprised that you can make one for desert reptiles it's really common to see bioactive terrariums for tropical species like frogs and some snakes but you can also do it for the desert reptiles like bearded dragons leopard geckos desert snakes and many others now this tank behind me I will be setting up for a bearded dragon but you can use all of the exact same products for other desert reptiles like leopard geckos skinks and some snakes now before I get started and show you how to use these products be sure to subscribe because I do post animal videos twice a week okay now first of all you're gonna to want to start off with the appropriate size enclosure for your reptile my husband's bearded dragon is actually really small so I'm going with this 40 gallon exoteric tank and then of course you want your other essentials like your UVV light for reptiles as well as a heat lamp. And then since you are going bioactive, you definitely want to have a light for your plants. So the bio dude actually does provide lighting as well and you can get one of these LED lights from the biodude.com and this is great for your plants this is going to make sure that they do grow because if you put your plants in here and you don't actually put a light that is for plants they're not going to do very well and they will start dying so you need something like this that is going to help them grow now let's take a look at the bioactive materials that you're going to need to use for your desert reptiles so we're going with terra sahara this is the bioactive substrate that is for desert animals. There's two things I'm really excited to tell you about with this substrate. One, you do not need to use a drainage layer when using this substrate. Now, a drainage layer is actually one of the more complicated and more difficult things to do when you're doing a bioactive terrarium. And it's really time consuming as well. But with this substrate, you don't have to worry about any of that. You just put the substrate right into the tank, which I will show you in a few minutes. Now, the second second thing I'm really excited to tell you about this substrate is that it actually holds the burrows that the animals dig. So animals like bearded dragons or leopard geckos that like to actually dig a little tunnel or a little burrow to hide in, this substrate is actually going to be able to hold that up. So basically it is perfect for encouraging their natural behavior and providing them with environmental enrichment. Now next we have your biodegradables and this is what your cleanup crew is going to be eating. This is what we're going to scatter all around the terrarium. And speaking of your cleanup crew, this is your cleanup crew. So they come in little packages like this and this is your isopods that are going to go around the cage eating the waste, the shed from the reptiles. In nature there's tiny little insects and isopods that go around 
eating up animal waste as well as plant litter and even dead animals and they eat up all of that and end up putting it back into the soil as nutrients. So basically what we're doing with bioactive terrariums is we're taking that natural part of the wild and putting it into our terrariums with the reptiles so that it creates this natural environment for them. So the biodegradables help establish those colonies and get them started and then when your reptile poops they go and eat that and put it back into the soil. Now the next thing that really goes into this is the bacteria and all of that that starts forming to help break down that compost even more so that the plants can eat it. Now bacteria like that does naturally start forming in your terrarium with your isopods and your reptile and all of that but you want to actually get it going before that because it will take months to get established and this is something that your plants need and your plants will actually start becoming very weak and dying off if that bacteria isn't established in the soil. So what you want is the bio shot. Now this is going to be some fungi, some bacteria, and some natural fertilizer for your plants to really give your terrarium that boost. So this is really good stuff to add to it and I'm going to show you how we're going to add all of these things to the terrarium. One other thing also provided by the bio dude is bug grub. Now this is really cool because it can actually be used for all of the insects that you have. Whether they're cleanup crew or actually food for the reptile, you can feed this to them. And you want to give this to your isopods when you first put them in the tank so that they can start establishing themselves and just creating that population so that they can start picking up after your reptile. And then of course you also want some driftwood and some branches and things like that for your reptile to climb on or hide underneath. And all of this is also provided by the bio dude. So we have this big awesome branch here, which I know that dragon is going to love climbing because she really likes climbing. And then some nice big pieces of wood. Now I also have some other pieces of wood that are going to be going in there and that's just stuff that I've collected around the farm. But you can definitely get all of this stuff from the bio dude. And then of course let's not forget about the plants. I'm really excited to show you guys these plants that I got from the bio dude. We have this one and these are succulents. These are actually succulents that the bearded dragon is going to be able to eat. And here's the other cactus. These are going to look so cool in the terrarium. Now I also got a basil plant and a cilantro plant and these are going to be for the bearded dragon to be able to eat. I don't know how long these are going to last because they are kind of small and I think she might eat them pretty quickly. But hey, that's okay. These are for her to be able to enjoy and interact with and if she eats them really quick, that's perfectly fine because all of this is for her environmental enrichment. So you can definitely get a lot of plants from the bio dude and then these I just picked up at a local nursery. And now we get to the fun part. So let's put this terrarium together. This is not staying here. So we're gonna have a fun time trying to move this. And by we, I mean the hubby. So first off, you basically just dump in your soil. This is gonna go a little slow for me cause I cannot pick up this bag.
And then you can add your biodegradables or add the plants in first. Either one is fine. I'm going to be putting these plants on the opposite side from the heat. And that way it doesn't get super hot for them. And then put in your tank decor and the wood. And then you can throw in more of your biodegradables so that they are on the top of the soil. And now we're going to be adding the bio shot and this I'm going to add around the plants. You want to kind of mix it in around the soil around your plants. You don't need to put it on the other side of the tank if you only have plants on one side. But if you do have plants all over the tank then do try to spread it out. And then I will be adding the cleanup crew. Now some people use different cleanup crew for bearded dragon enclosures like super worms. I do use dubia roaches in my snake's tank, but the bearded dragon can sometimes eat those so it just depends on what you want to try. I recommend always sticking with these isopods even if you are going to try other custodians. Use the isopods as your main ones and then see how the other ones work out. And now I'm going to be squirting down everything. Don't worry, this won't make it too humid for your bearded dragon. The heat light is going to bring down the humidity, but you do want to try to get some water in the soil. And that's pretty much it. After that, you're done. So let's see how this bearded dragon likes it. See, I told you guys it was going to be super easy. So everything that you saw in this video you can find at thebiodude.com and you can make bioactive terrariums not only for bearded dragons but for geckos, snakes, other types of lizards, just about everything. Thanks for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe. You can also find me and my animals on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. See you guys next time. Bye!